I guess it's been a minute since I did a fry rant. Since we're not on TikTok. I don't know why I haven't just been... <coughs> <coughs> busy or maybe I've had nothing to talk about. I don't know. But, um... I'm selling some stuff on Poshmark and this guy seems shady to me. He's like, wants to mail me a check. I'm like, yeah, I don't know, bro. Anyways, how have all of you been during this holiday season? Hold on. I only like little hits. I know I come off as like a huge stoner, but... That was my first smoke of the day. Little guy, say hi. He's <laughs> my boy, he's my boy. Okay, well, let me catch you up. So, well, first of all, sneak peek. New sports bras coming out. Content violation and this one says liddy to the titty um, <sighs> no lashes on i've been using this new serum hopefully it helps them grow because so i'm getting better i have a problem that's why i used to wear eyelash extensions Honestly, Lashify is just way better for my life because I don't have to like go lay down, blah, blah, blah. But I'd pull them out like a nervous habit. So sometimes with my Lashifies, when they're time to come off, instead of just like removing them, I start like picking at them. And then sometimes I'm like, fuck, I pulled a bunch of lashes out. So like they are healthy. But if you have this weird pulling habit, how does that help? So now I've been like, good removing them as soon as they start to come up. I'm like, take them off. I've been wearing shorter ones. Uh, maybe I should even go shorter. Anyways, I have been using, Danielle gave me for Chris Hanukkah, um, Rodan and Fields. So I used to, I've tried the other ones, but let's try this one. Everyone seems to like it, so. Yeah. Um, what else? So I'm day two back on track and it's not like, oh, I'm like white knuckling it. Like I feel it inside different and I'm really trying to pinpoint and understand like what switches in me, what happens, how I'm able so that I can help others because I know the struggles. I think it's just like repetitive forgiveness. Like it's okay, it's okay. You're you're overall doing better than you're not. Like you're being hard. Like because it's not just like I did. I did set some goals. I wanted to, um, you know, my goal is to to hit nineteen percent body fat. That's like the higher range of an athlete. Um, as you've probably seen, we are talking about starting to get pregnant. Um, so like, I don't think going lower than 19 is a good idea or healthy. Um, but, um, I don't know. I just maybe made that up, but I know if you get too low, you'll lose your body. You'll lose your period and that's not helpful. So I set that goal. I started at like, I'm at 22. Um, and realistically, it's probably not going to happen because I'm eight weeks. So it's an eight week thing and I have three weeks left and I'm just now getting on board. It's been a rough path with, um, staying on track with my calorie logging. Like, um, but if I really like probably took a bird's eye view of it, it's not that bad. So forgiveness, you're doing great. It's okay. It's all learning. You know, you're learning, constantly learning. Um, and so 
I'm excited. I think I'm ready to switch it up because I've been doing, you know, weightlifting for a while. I'm still going to lift weights because I like it, but I want to do more cardio and kind of get my cardio intensity. I miss that. Like, I feel like sometimes that makes me, um, it's easier for me not to eat. I mean, I know sometimes it makes you hungrier, but I think it also like you get that buzz from it and shit. And I don't know. I just miss it. Like explosive type of cardio with lifting. So I should be making videos more because my lifting has been pretty like the same. So I know myself. I think I'm just bored. I need change. Next thing on the docket. Um, I did get these filled. But I can't see here. I think we had some migration but it could be that i did get a little bit of botox so part of losing your body fat is that your face goes too um i have been out of my collagen for a while and it does help a lot it's expensive so i've been trying to just like nest in the way of like getting out of you know some credit card debt like i'm almost done um should acknowledge myself on how far I've come. Pretty close. So, um, what was my point in that? Saving money, payment. I don't remember. Well, there you go. This is a sweatshirt a friend gave me. The stairs guy. He likes me, but I'm not interested. He's really nice and he makes really comfortable sweatshirts and that means love, which I support. And Farsi, I think. I don't know. Um, yeah. So that's another reason I'm like, I think it's good to like lose and then let your body like readjust to it you gotta you know like when you lose weight too fast your hair will thin your nails will break my nails are short so it's like um i did get the stomach bug thanksgiving week what's up there i'm just rambling um oh, you're on the phone with someone. no you wanna watch dexter dexter you guys know Dexter came back? It's really good. Yes, I do. Um, okay. So I got a new journal, which I love journals. This one says, the grass is greener where you water it. I don't love the color, but it's green. It's cute. And I just started reading The Artist's Way. And two days ago, I started doing morning pages, which is like three page, three pages of like just open writing i've like journaled at night before i've been doing this one for a while it's called mindfulness and you you do it morning and night and it's just like i woke up feeling or my intention for the day you guys remember i've talked about my spiritual practitioner she's big on intentions and then today's challenges and then at night you reflect um your ability to remain present what's interesting is there's a meditation one and i rarely fill it out because that's just like an ever going struggle for me. So you scale your ability to rain, remain present from one to 10. And then today I was mindful when it gives you options like eating, having a conversation. It's cute. Today's major distractions and then my mood at the end of the day. So I was doing that for a while and then I switched it to gratitude. And it says final thoughts to send me asleep, but I changed it to acknowledgements because that's like something my spiritual practitioner, like that's a practice we do. And then so I do that, but I swear it's interesting that the two days that I finally feel like I have peace about my, like, eating and not being sabotaging are the two days I've done my morning rites. So it's for creativity, but, like, I think it also is helping me, like, release fears around. So as much as I have these goals, that in schools, I still, like, have these, like, fears. Like, oh, I'm going to have to buy new... Like little voices, like I'm gonna have to buy new clothes because nothing's gonna fit, or oh, I'm gonna make other people uncomfortable, or whoa, what's the point? You're just gonna gain it all back, like when you're pregnant, you know, like just all the different excuses and the fears, fear, 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 for what? Like, why is it stopping me? So maybe there's a correlation. 
in my morning pages have been helping me because I have not had the desire. I mean, today everyone opened a big bag of Smart Sweets and like it was a big one. Pat just got like a bunch and I was like, I could just, but I didn't. And up until now, I have not been able to get a grasp of that. I was like, just one, just one, just turned into a whole bag. Anyways, I'm rambling. So we'll see. I'll try to check back in more often than a month because I've been blowing it, but Pat's staring there, so I can't really focus. How cute are my nails? They're neon yellow, but they have snowflakes, holograms, and like a little tree. Okay, bye.